Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 808 for technical and vocational schools. It is unit six, lesson two, the passive voice. In order for us to do that lesson well, you need the following. Number one, you need Project Success 2 student's book. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Number three, a pen or a pencil. Number four, a dictionary. And we have lesson objectives for you. Number one, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to use the passive voice in writing sentences. All right, so what is the passive voice? Let me give you an example. This is a sentence. I, empty space, a gap, to clean my room. Now, I need to use the passive voice. Let me use it. I am told, I am told, that is a passive voice. Let's try an another one. The book for doing exercises. Now, I need to use the passive voice. Wasn't used, wasn't used. The book wasn't used for doing exercises. The doctors, by all people, are appreciated. The doctors are appreciated by all people. This is a passive voice. Now, the passive voice is used when we do not want to focus on the agent of the action. An agent is people in this sentence. Now, let me explain that further. In order for us to understand the passive voice, you need the timeline, where the present is in the uh, in the middle, the past, and the future, the passive voice is used when we do not want to focus on the agent of the action. Now, the agent, as, as we said before, like me, you, or the people. Action is something like study. So, we use the passive voice for something that happened in the past, or something that happens all the time in the present where facts and routines happen. Now how to form the passive voice in affirmative which means positive sentences. Let's begin with the present. We have pronoun, auxiliary, main verb and the agent. The first pronoun is I. What comes after I? He. Then she. Then it. Then you. We have another you. We and they. You have to understand that these are pronouns. The first five are singular pronouns. I, he, she, it, you. The last three, you, we, they, are plural pronouns. So you have you in the singular and you in the plural. Then we add the auxiliary of the passive voice. In this case, it is verb to be, which is am. I say, I am. Then, he is. What about she? Yes. She is. And then, it is. What about you? Yes. You are. And then, you are again. We are. And they are. Then, we have to understand that they come in categories. So, the first one is, I am. Just for you to remember. He, she, it always come with is. So you can remember this second category. Then you, you, we, they, they come with are. So I have one, two, three. Then the main verb. In this case, I have chosen treated, treated. You have to understand that the passive is the auxiliary. Okay, the passive voice is the auxiliary plus the main verb. So you have two verbs to form the passive voice. And do not forget that it has ED, ED, treated, treated. This is not just the past, it is the past participle, the past participle. And then you could add an agent. For example, I am treated by a nurse, or you are treated by a nurse. Now the agent is not that important to mention in the passive voice, so you can remove it like that. 
but you have to have the full stop at the end. Let's go over the past. <coughs> this is the passive voice and positive sentences in the past. So, we have the pronouns. I, he, she, it, you, you, we, they. And then, these are the singulars and these are the plural. 